welcome to Daily Wellbeing with Gemma. Today I want to talk to you about creative thinking or uh, divergent thinking as it might be more scientifically known. At the very beginning of this wellbeing series I talked to you about different types of wellbeing so there's your physical, emotional, spiritual and your intellectual wellbeing and I think this really falls into the intellectual because being creative in your thinking and flexing that creativity muscle can bring you a lot of joy, it can challenge you uh, and help you just to in enjoy the process of thinking. And I can't remember the exact studies, but I'm sure people have documented that as children, we're much more creative. If you hand a child a matchbox and say, what is it? they can come up with so many more ideas and answers than an adult. You know, it can be a place for a mouse to keep his shop in. I can put three of them on top of each other and make a chest of drawers. Whereas if you ask an adult, they might kind of go, oh, well, you put matches in it or you put paper clips in it. We aren't that good at finding regular opportunities to practice that creativity, even though we know that with a changing, you know, economy and career market, being creative and innovative are actually really valuable things. So finding ways to playfully be creative is really important for our, our well-being and for our professional development. So a couple of things that you can try out. Sometimes when I've got group work, one of the things that I do is get people to stand in a circle and have a ball. And we invite the group to kind of Think about as many different ways of passing the ball to each other as possible, but they have to do it in a different way to the previous person. So you can feel free to have a go at this with the people in your household. You'll find that at first people just kind of, oh yeah, and just pass it. And eventually you end up with people repeating the same thing and you go, no, no, you're not allowed to do that. Think of something different. Okay, well, what else is there? Oh, well, I can use different combination of fingers. Okay, so that is different to that, okay, that maybe opens up five more options. Eventually, when you've run out of the obvious, that's when the really creative things start coming into play. People start getting props or putting it in their elbow or resting it on the back of their neck or throwing it under their leg. So using everyday objects can be a good way of being creative. It might be that you play the matchbox game or get some other everyday object and say, how many different uses can you think of for this? And just that explorative conversation can be a good way of encouraging creativity. Another thing you can do is play around with pictures. So you can have the same random image and say, right, how many different things can you turn it into? Um, I have seen this done before, actually, where I had a wiggly line like this and one person turned it into a snake, a caterpillar, a worm. It's like, okay, yes, they're all technically different, but they're not different enough to really be exercising your creativity. So it might be that, okay, I'm going for some sort of fish with a, that's a shark fin. Okay, maybe uh, instead of animals, uh, it can be a landscape and okay, somebody's gonna be skiing down this mountain, that's a really bad version of skis, and that can be the hill. Oh, I'll put a, uh, that's where all the little ski carts come up. Okay, so we've got animal, we've got landscape. Um, oh, this can be Captain Hook's arm, and that's his hook now. Or maybe I can turn it into a puzzle piece. Um, that's a very weird looking puzzle piece, but it could be. So playing games like this on a regular basis and especially in groups where you can share ideas is a really nice sort of thing to do as a, a mental warm up. It can be a good team building exercise when you have a look at each other's ideas, compare who thinks in a very linear way, who thinks in a really abstract way, but it can also just be something to do for fun you know, pass the time with some doodles or some thought experiments. And the more you practice creativity, the more you kind of grow that just like any other skill. So hopefully that's enjoyable and you can come up with some good ways to try out practicing your creativity and getting your divergent thinking a little bit more well polished. See you next time. Bye.